In this video, we will take a look at the mapping properties of the exponential function. We will learn that the curves where x is constant and y is constant in the UV plane intersect orthogonally. We have seen this property before for other functions too, and we will also learn why this is no coincidence in this video. So, take, let's take a look at the exponential function first. We have f going from c to z without zero, f of z equals e to the power z, and we can write w equals f of z equals e to the power x times cos y plus i times sine y. Now we are going to look at what happens to curves in the xy plane where x is constant and in curves where y is constant. Well, if you have x constant, that means that for w e to the power x is constant, which means that the norm of e uh, w is constant, and if the norm of uh, w is constant and the argument can take anything here, we are going through a circle. So what happens if y is constant? Well, if y is constant, then cos y plus i sine y over here is constant. So in that case, the argument of w is constant, and the norm e to the power x can take all positive values. So in that case, we have a constant argument and a, a, a ver varying a norm, whereas the norm is always positive. So we get half line starting from the origin. Origin is not part of the line. We start at the origin, but we go up to infinity along a line. If you would try it the other way around, so x constant and y constant, that's easy. If you try it the other way around, what about u constant and v constant? Well, if you would set u constant, you get uh, u equals u naught equals e to the power x times cosine y as, uh, in the xy plane. Well, that's awkward. That's a difficult curve to, to sketch. You can use a, a computer algebra system like Maple, for example, to make sketches like this. We cannot do that easily by hand. So we will only do the curves where in the uv plane where x is constant and y is constant. So what do we get? So first we set x to some positive constant, x naught. Well, then, we get, then we get circles with radius e to the power x naught. So that's the outer circle here. And if we take a negative uh, x1 over here, we get a circle with radius e to the power x1, which will now be smaller. So we get a yellow circle over there. What happens if we take a y constant, like we said y naught, and we got a, a line with the uh, because we have a constant argument, why not? Which is positive now, so we get the line over here. And what happens if we take some negative y1, for example? Uh, we get again a half line, but now this one over here. Notice that the origin is not part of the lines. So now you'll see something funny happening. The yellow and red curves intersect orthogonally everywhere. And we saw that already before. Well, that is not a coincidence. It's in fact due to the Cauchy-Riemann equations. This happens for all analytic functions. So let's look at just uh, the, the curve in the UV plane where x is constant and the U curve in the UV plane where y is constant. So the yellow curve R1 uh, x naught comma y, where y is a parameter varying throughout the curve, and the red one, or two, x comma y naught, where y naught is constant and x is varying throughout the curve. Well, then you know, uh, if you want to get a tangent to your curve, you have to differentiate with respect to your parameter. So the tangent to the yellow curve is r1 differentiated with respect to y in, in the point x naught y naught, and the tangent in the point of exersection to the R2 curve, it was R2 differentiated with respect to x, which is now the parameter in the point x naught comma y naught. So we know uh, R1 with respect to, x, to y equals uy vy, and R2 with respect to x equals ux vx. So what happens if we take the inner product of those two factors? Well, let me see something happening. We get uh, uy ux plus vx times. Um, Vy over here, and due to the Cauchy Riemann equations, this is zero. So, if you satisfy those Cauchy Riemann equations, the inner product between your tangents is always zero in the point of intersection, which means 
that the tangents uh, intersect orthogonally, which means that the uh, curves intersect orthogonally. So that is why you always get those orthogonal intersections over here. You have that for, for the level curves of all your analytic functions, and that is due to the Cauchy-Riemann equations.